Alrighty guys, welcome back to Minecraft Story Mode, where today we start episode 11, or part 11 of our playthrough. Which, this is going to be episode 6 of the overall story. And if I am correct, this is the Hero Brines Mansion, where they had four YouTubers come in and do some exclusive voice lines for the game or whatever. Not exclusive, uh, but do some voice lines for the game. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. That glow, that enchantment, is the work of a very old group of builders. A group so old that they existed even before the Order of the Stone. Yep, it's your O'Brien's mansion. I knew it. Okay, guys, I'm seeing grass, forest, lots of ground in all directions. All good signs so far. <clears throat> There's two moons. Aha. Uh -huh. Verdict says, definitely not our world. You owe me two iron, Lucas. Pay up. Okay, okay. Here. <laughs> Told you it was a dumb bet. Oh, come on. Can't you hear it? The uh, spooky forest? It's the sound of a new adventure. I bet this place is going to be awesome. I hope you're right. I was just... Uh, I'm just worried about Axel and Olivia. What? Why? Well, if they followed us back to that old builder temple and went through the portal... They would arrive in Sky City to find it overflowing with monsters. Yeah. At least we already built them the bridge. Oh man, I hadn't thought about that. If they followed us, they could be in trouble. Hey, maybe next time we're in the portal hall we can leave a sign or something. Tell them which one we're going through. I like that idea. Well. I, for one, vote that we not be so hasty to try and get out of here. Who knows what sorts of treasures this new world could hold. Besides, unless the next portal is disguised as a tombstone, I'm not seeing it anywhere near I here. I see a book. You guys see some sort of shape over there? Yeah. What is that? Let's find out. Oh, I got the Eversource crown. This guy did the flash black again. It's been a while since it's done that. I think it's been a while since I've noticed it do that. It says invitation. And then read immediately. Your life depends on it. <clears throat> Greetings, traveler. Yep, that seems about right. Keep reading, Jesse. We've got your back. I, I humbly invite you to my mansion for an evening of food and festivity with your fellow adventurers. That's odd. Yeah, weird, right? Whoa! Toss it here! Got it. Any time now? You can read, right? Hang on, hang on! Need to find Jesse's place. Uh, got it! Come to my home on the hill. Just follow the path. Please look out for zombies. Sincerely, the host. Nice warning. Come on, there's the path. I must say, this is the highest concentration of zombies I've ever seen in one place. You think this host is going to be legit, Jesse? I just asked because this place hasn't exactly been friendly so far. I'm suspicious too, Lucas. This has trap written all over it. 
Unfortunately, with all these zombies everywhere, we can't exactly stick around out here. Oh, if you notice, my shoulder pads are fixed. Finally. I'm going to In all the previous here. episodes and that say, I've had this armor, it's that's been messed up. the place up. we're looking for. Race you guys there. Oh, yeah. I don't race so much anymore. Bad, bad knees. Hey, just try not to die, okay? I'm trying to keep everyone together here. Sure, sure, that's fine. But you gotta catch me first. God dang it. I've always got sore knees, Petra. I ran right into that zombie. Ugh. Oh, damn, Ivor. I would hope I was hoping Jesse when I did that would just put one foot on the zombie's head, push him back into the grave <laughs> as he jumps over. You know, like Luffy from that. Uh, what was that arc uh, where he where he gets his like soul stolen by that one guy? I can't remember their names, but it's like the first arc with Brooke. It's like that one scene where Luffy pushes it back in the grave. <gasps> There's a bunch of zombies popping out. You hear that too, right? Almost sounds like a waterfall! Paddle. Oh no! I don't think I was supposed to, uh, ooh. Yeah, I was not supposed to be able to swim. I was supposed to catch this stuff. Whoa. gonna block me off. They got skeletons now? They got up. They got shooters on us. Well, at least they're shooting most of the zombies. <laughs> Mostly zombies. That's all that they hit. What is going on? That was just over the top. You didn't need to do that, Jesse. Execute maneuver 66! Stairs! Why'd you pull out dirt to mine stairs? No, like, seriously, why? Why'd you pull out dirt to hit dirt with it? Woo! Nailed it! Okay, okay. You won that one, Jesse. Let's maybe get inside the mansion before we pat ourselves on the back too much, shall we? That front door's definitely a no-go. Ah, stick with me, guys. Oh, hand on the controller, damn it. I did it again. I have a bad problem just having one hand on the controller so I can hit the A, B, X, Y button, you know? But then I'll have to have that other one over there that I don't hit. What'd you see? I've been thinking about just rebinding just it to my right uh, stick. Like you'd seen something. I think 
I saw our host. He had a white pumpkin for a head. White pumpkin? No such thing as white pumpkins. Let's save the agricultural discussions for inside, okay? <sighs> Great! There's no door back here. How are we supposed to get in? Um... Window. There. We should be able to build up and break in through there. Trees. We can cut those down. Good plan. Ashay, quick. Do it again. And now my inventory is full of wood blocks. Hey, you never know when those will come in handy. Looks like some kind of kitchen in there. Then break the window and get us into the blasted place. Hope the host doesn't mind us breaking their window. I'm sure he'll find it in his heart to forgive us. Weren't we at the front door? Or was that locked? I can't remember. I might have, like, just spaced it off while we were there. Wow. Some kitchen. Hey, and we're actually starting to get achievements for this game again. I'm telling you, for the last time, Sparkles, I didn't take the stupid thing. Oh, yeah, it's Captain Sparkles. I think Sparkles. a lot of unpleasantness. Uh, uh, who's that guy? Hi. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Very, very funny. Show up super late, make us all sit and wonder what the heck is going on. And this is your house, right? Because if it is, we've all been waiting for, like, hours. It's rude. We're not the host of whatever this is. Sorry. We're just here to hide from the sea of zombies. Yeah, it's pretty bad out there. In case you hadn't noticed. No way. Be polite. No, I'm I'm afraid we're not the ones behind this either. This is Tork Dog. Sup. And I'm Captain Sparkles. Though maybe you know that already. Captain Sparkles? I've got like nine million fans? Captain Sparkles? Are you saying that with a Z? Petra! Show some respect. The man's a captain. Those are your names? Like your real names? Uh, yes. Oh, it's weird. Well, anyway, I'm Jesse. That's Petra, Ivor, and Lucas. Charmed. <clears throat> Jesse? That's a girl's name. What are you guys, anyway? Some sort of <clears throat> loser patrol? Talk dog. Oh, come on. That was hilarious. Ah, oh, that's a good one. You, you are very funny, Talk I, uh, dog. Uh, wow. You know something? No one ever gets my sense of humor. I think I like you, Pipsqueak. Look, sorry if I was coming down I can't. harsh on you. I guess we got this guy on our good you side see, now. I was expecting to swoop in, score some six snackage, and bounce, you know? But, uh, well, thanks to those stupid zombies, Torque Dog's trapped here with all these losers. Worst day ever. Just try and look on the bright side. Wait, how many more people are in this place? Counting us, seven? Mm-hmm. Most of them useless. I tell you what, the minute all them weird zombies are gone, <sighs> Torque Dog is out of here. Okay, so the sea of zombies isn't normal. It's good to hear. Two moons is normal, though, right? Um, the moons? Uh, yeah. Why don't you know about this stuff? Are you from, like, out of town or something? <laughs> what the hell? Did Why are my you? eyes blue? Something touch my butt! Who touch my butt? Everyone die for cover! <gasps> they killed Twerk Dog! Hey, Jesse. Jesse, come here. You've got a, a girl's name. What? <sighs> Uh, Torque Dog? Torque Dog? So I'm guessing calling dibs on his inventory would be... Ivor. That poor guy. That's so awful. Yeah. He, uh, seemed like a little bit of a jerk. But that's still a nasty way to go. All those arrows, his inventory, everywhere. How did that... Who? One minute he's alive, the next... Gone. Poof. Sparkles, I know you're freaking out right now, but you've got to pull yourself together. Okay, okay. You're right. Woo. You're right. Everyone stand back. Let me see what I can figure out. This 
Is, why is this happening? Gunpowder, redstone dust, leather pants. Pretty much what you'd expect, I guess. Uh. Trap door? Uh, who would do this? There's the trap door that sucked up Torque Dog's stuff. Looks like it's a match set with that arrow dispenser up there. But you saw his stuff. He didn't really have anything worth stealing. Perhaps it was simply to dispose of the evidence. Guys, found something strange about this arrow. Yeah, Ivor, you know potions and enchantments and weird stuff like that. What do you make of it? Mm. Smells like... Yes. Potion of poison? Oh, is it a tipped arrow? Oh, I've heard of those. They're, they're still pretty new. Oh, nasty stuff. Using potions to make arrows. The possibilities are fascinating. Would you stop pointing that thing all over the place? You're making me nervous. Back up. What did you say that was? Uh, tipped arrows? You can, like, put different potion effects on them? Could have sworn I saw someone doing a tutorial on how to make those not too long ago. But my nerves are too shot to remember who right now. Well, let me know if it comes back to you. Hello? Everything okay in here? Whoa! What's with the crowd? I, uh... I was just about to get everyone together to tell them at once. Okay. Hang on a minute. It's you. I recognize you. Excuse me? Uh, yes. What? It's a long story, but that's actually impossible. There's no way we could have met before. I'll show you. Follow me. Um... Oh? Okay. Why does that sound creepier? Lizzie, hi. Did you see all these new... Oh, you've got them with you. <gasps> oh, yeah, we got the walls well, with all the paintings on them. the portraits of the them. people already here, then poof. You guys. Whoa, that's unexpected. It's a little creepy. Yeah, no kidding. They're absolutely exquisite. Perfect. Well, not... Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Must have been when we showed up. Flattering how well they captured our likenesses. Somebody's up to something. I don't know what yet, but I'm going to figure it out. Well, that's definitely not a good sign. Come on, everyone. Let's huddle up in the dining room. Wonder if he told them yet. Can't wait to hear the big news. Me neither. Ooh, I hope there's cake. Guess not. Come on, let's do this. Come on, Winslow. Here, let me introduce you all properly. You guys already met Cassie Rose and LD Shadow Lady. Uh, but my friends call me Lizzie. This is Stacy Plays, Stampy Cat, and that's Dan, the Diamond Minecart. W when did your hair change color? Wasn't it? It's funny. Before you guys showed up, we all knew each other here. Their names are Jesse, Petra, Lucas, and Ivor. You said that was news? Is it good? Good news? Uh, yeah. It's, um, bad news, I'm afraid. Torque Dog is dead. Good heavens! Oh, no! Wait, what? But Torque Dog was so tough! There was nothing that could take him down. What happened? Yeah, what on earth is going on here, Sparkles? These are what got him. Tipped arrows? Does this mean someone set a trap for Torque Dog? That's nasty. I can't believe Talk Dog's gone. Just like that. So, what happened to his stuff? Whoa! How can you say that? What? It's a valid question. Whoa. Come on, everyone. Come on. Don't get greedy. Just... I want to know what happened. 
for curiosity's sake. This stuff just disappeared, went down this weird hole in the floor. Are we just supposed to take your word for that? Guys, I saw it too. Jesse was poking around in Torque Dog's stuff right before it got sucked into a hopper. So I'm looking at this situation, I'm trying to figure something out. Is this just about Torque Dog, or is there a bigger picture? Yeah, why have our portraits? I don't know, guys. Knowing Talk Dog, I think this might just be about him. Am I picking up some beef here? Uh, what? No! I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, but then why invite us all here? That's true. Hadn't thought about that. Well, someone brought us here for a reason, including Talk Dog. What if we're all in danger? Oh my gosh! Dan's right! Whoever's doing this, they could be hunting us! Hey, come on, everyone. If there's one thing I believe in, it's teamwork. If we all stick together and get through this as a team, we'll be fine. Ha. <laughs> Inspiring. There you go, guys. Teamwork makes the dream work. Wow. Oh, all of this danger talk has my stomach all queasy. Stampy, come over here. I need to talk to you about something. Lizzie. Psst. Lizzie. The more I think about it, the more I think that there's something these people really don't want us to know. One of them's got to know the truth about what's going on here. It'd be nice to figure out what on earth is going on here, especially if we're going to be stuck with these people until dawn. I say we talk to everyone and gain their trust. Yeah, good luck with that. I Let's mean, get investigating. go over here and talk to Dan and Lizzie. Hey there, Dan. Lizzie? Oh, uh, hello? Hi there. If you don't mind, I actually had some questions about this torque dog situation. Yeah? Go ahead. Torque dog was clearly targeted with this trap. Why him? Well, he was bragging about having some kind of rare item. Wouldn't show it to anyone, of course. Typical talk dog. So this rare item that Torque Dog claimed to have, what can you tell me about it? We don't know exactly. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Seemed like people were really interested in seeing Torque Dog's inventory. Any idea why? An adventurer like him? He could have had all kinds of cool stuff. Uh-huh. Lizzie, seems like you're not much of a Torque Dog fan. What's the deal? Oh, come on. You met him, right? Nobody liked that guy. I'm just the only one who will actually admit it. He, um, yeah, he definitely wasn't the nicest person. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks. Hey. What'd you find out? It's all tangled up, but it sounds like Torque Dog claimed to have some sort of rare item. I didn't see anything like that in his inventory, though. Yeah, something's not quite adding up here. Let's go... Cassie and Sparkles. Hey, Sparkles, and Cassie Rose, yeah? There's a piston yep. right hi. in front of... that's me. Hey there, Jesse. Oh, Sparkles. Winslow says hi, too. <laughs> You mind if I ask you guys some questions? Nope. What are the questions? Cassie, you seem pretty upset about people wanting to poke around Torque Dog's inventory. Oh, was I? Yeah, yeah, you were. Why was that? Well, it was just so... It's insensitive, right? I mean, it, it had just happened, and she was all curious about what was in his pockets. Just made me mad, I guess. Got any guesses why someone would kill Torque Dog? Uh, gosh, gosh. Um, he was a little prickly around the edges, you know. You'd have to ask other people about that. I I didn't really know him. Mm hmm. He's I don't want to say anything something. mean about a guy that's not here to defend himself, but well, you met him, right? Prickly is kind of an understatement. There was drama between Lizzie and Torque Dog, right? Got any insight? 
Sorry, I'm not getting wrapped up in that. Especially now that Torque Dog is, you know. But it's weird, right? Definitely seems like there's some beef. Uh, not that I um, want to get into rumors or anything like that. Sparkles, Cassie, Winslow, thanks for the time. No problem. Okay, uh, so we only yeah, got anytime. two people left to talk to here. Get anything out of them? Found out this group has a whole lot of secrets they're keeping from each other. That's definitely something. I'm still kind of... Sparkles had... Like, see it there? There's a piston. And a button. Hey, guys. Stampy and Stacy, right? Oh, um, uh, hello. Hey, Jesse. What's up? I know things are a little nuts right now, but I've got some questions. Oh, really? Uh, uh what? Anyone you can think of that would want something bad to happen to Torque Dog? Um, well... I never had that big of a problem with him personally, but I know other people did. Quite a few, actually. I don't know if you noticed, but he was a bit of a griefer. Yeah, and a thief. Thief, huh? Interesting. Stacy, you seem pretty curious about what was in Torque Dog's inventory. What's up with that? Well, Torque Dog was a pretty notorious thief. I was just curious what he had. That's it. Mm-hmm. Seems like Lizzie and Torque Dog really didn't like each other. Know anything else about that? Oh, that! Real shame, real shame. He broke into her house and stole a bunch of stuff from her. She was super upset about it. You don't say. Hmm. Thanks, you two. This has been... Well, maybe Torque Dog me. wasn't a good guy to get on the no good side. No problem. Yeah, no problem. Wrong person to get on the good side of. So did you find anything out from Stacy or, or was. Sturdy Cat? Stampy Cat? Right, right. So did you find anything out? Apparently, Torque Dog was a well-known thief. A thief, huh? Well, that might have something to do with it, don't you think? Agreed. So Torque Dog was a thief, and he supposedly had something rare, but I feel like there's still a piece missing. No one will tell me what this rare item is. I, uh, I think I can shed some light on that situation, actually. Well, now my curiosity is piqued. He already had me at rare item. Oh, thank goodness someone's being direct with me. Thanks, Sparkles. There's a temple way out in the middle of nowhere. No one knows who built it, but it's been there forever. People have been trying to track down the temple's location for ages because they want this treasure. It's supposedly deep in its basement. Now, it looks just like an ordinary flint and steel, but it's actually super rare. It's got this enchantment on it. It can open portals to other worlds? Exactly. Wait, what? You know about the enchanted flint and steel? How did you know that? Did, have, you, have you seen it? Have you seen it today? I actually have one of my own. Really? Yeah, I do. Just used it a little no, while geez, ago to put get... Put that away. You, you can't just pull that out here. Okay, uh, you know, I had a theory about why you were here, and I, I think this might just prove it. Oh, Sparkles everyone? is the one that's going to realize everyone? we're like alternate dimension. We've all been freaking out, wondering why we were all brought here, why uh, Torque Dog died, uh, and Jesse has just uncovered a very important clue. What? Really? Whoever killed Torque Dog, whoever invited us, they're after the enchanted flint and steel. Ah! Sparkles! Panic, 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 what panic, 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 Pull panic, yourself panic, 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 Wait, his hair changed to red. Oh, hang on, hang on. This is awful. Terrible. Who was that guy? And there's no such thing as white oh, pumpkins. The white pumpkins hanging all over the place. Uh, uh, uh. I don't like it. I really don't. The white pumpkin is our host. That's the host? Well, 
I'm not sticking around to see how the rest of this party goes. Ugh! Almost Everyone's nice panicking and running. I don't like the sound of that. I feel like something bad happened. Oh. Shut the door! Shut the door! Oh, I think it's a lever on the right. Yep. Pull it! Why would you change it from the apple? <laughs> they changed it from a uh, right trigger to a. I was trying- I was mashing right trigger. Be scared. So we're stuck in here. And if we're stuck in here, we're all doomed. I thought I heard Sparkle say something about a flint and steel. Oh, please don't bring that up again. Well, obviously Talk Dog didn't steal it. Okay, but who then? Uh, Jesse? Ivor's next. Well, I guess I'm next then. Nope, not happening. Don't worry, Ivor. I'll protect you. I appreciate that, Jesse. I just hope that this white pumpkin isn't beyond both of our abilities. Well, I'm sure there's a perfectly logical explanation for how the white pumpkin is doing all this. I mean, the whole place has got to be rigged with traps, right? Torque dog, trap. Sparkles. Trap. Yeah, we need to find out what makes these traps tick. All right, I'm going to investigate that dining room. Cool. I'll keep those guys in the hall for now so I can keep an eye on everyone. An excellent idea. Don't want them messing up the crime scene. Well, I'm sticking with you, Jesse. Doesn't seem safe to wander off alone. Okay, people, clear out. This is a crime scene! Ivor. Okay, how are you doing this, White Pumpkin? Okay, so this was the dining table where we were all gathered together right before... It's the button. Okay, let's give this a shot. Just like before. Greetings, adventurers. I am the White Pumpkin. Yep. One of you Just like before. the treasure I desire. And I will not rest until it is mine. Even if I have to resort to murder. It's just a costume on an armor stand with a jukebox for the voice. No sign of how it was triggered. Wow. The White Pumpkin must have some amazing redstone skills to rig up something like this. But why? It must have taken a lot of work to rig up. They must have a reason for it. It must have been a diversion from whatever was going on in the room at the time. What, like you think the White Pumpkin was in the room with us? Yeah. Possibly. Jesse! Oh, I think I accidentally progressed He's the back. story. The White Pumpkin's back! Now his hair is purple! It's just a dummy. A white pumpkin costume on an armor stand. Wait, what? Why? The trap that killed Sparkles, the whole show with the white pumpkin, it was all triggered by a button on the table. But what does that mean? I am so creeped out right now. It means that the white pumpkin sat at this very table and pushed the button. Wait, so you're saying that the white pumpkin is one of us? That's right, Mr. Stampy. One of us is a murderer. And he sat right here. Wait, but that's not where Jesse found the button before. There's more than one? I'll see if I can find all of them. Nice work, Jesse. Yes, I must say I'm relieved to know that there's a logical explanation for what the White Pumpkin's been doing. So what now? Feels like we've made some good progress so far, though, right? We need to pull together all our evidence and see how it connects. That tipped arrow means the White Pumpkin is a master brewer, and the traps show that he's a real redstone expert. Okay, that's all of them. If you could all please take the same seat you were at before. Four of your seats are marked. These are the seats that had a button to activate the trap. 
That means the white pumpkin could only be Dan, Stampy, Lizzie, or Lucas. Wait, you're accusing us? Wait, what? I echo their sentiments exactly. I didn't even see a button. Hey, would you people all just calm down? Calm? Listen to this, talking about calm. I'm taking charge now, and I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I want everyone separated. I'm going to talk to each suspect one by one so I can find out who's telling the truth and who's lying. I got a whole lot of questions, and I want nice little matching answers for each and every one of them. Understand me? Loud and clear. Yes, crystal clear. Who are you going to interrogate first? Damn, because he keeps on changing his damn hair. There's a dispenser up there. Why is it white? Okay, he just keeps on changing it. I'm telling you, you've got the wrong guy. Honest. I would never hurt anyone. You've got to believe me. If anyone's been wronged here, it's me. That enchanted flint and steel everyone's talking about, I found that. That's mine. At least it was before someone stole it. And now everything's gone completely crazy. People getting caught in horrible traps, everyone accusing and blaming each other. Wow, this flint and steel means a lot to you, doesn't it? You don't get it. Lizzie and I have been chasing each other to get that thing for years. And now people are dying because of it? I just want you to know the truth. I'm not the white pumpkin. You've got to believe me. What can I tell you to convince you? Out with it. Who stole the flint and steel? Oh, well, Lizzie, obviously. She was jealous. Never got over the fact that I found it first. So, how do you rate your redstone knowledge? Me? Oof, not much. Not really my scene. You want to know more about that stuff? You should ask Stampy. He was the tri-block champion. Tri-block champion? Yeah, for three years running. Huh. Good to know. Now all I have to do is show him the arrow. Know anything about this? Oh, wow. Uh, no, I've never seen anything like that before. No? Tipped arrows not ringing a bell? Made using potions? Nuh-uh, but you want to know about stuff with potions? I'd ask Lizzie. She's way better with that stuff than I am. I always go to her with potion questions. So Noted. Dan's just blaming Lizzie. You can go now, Dan. Thanks, Jesse. Thank you. Watch, his hair's gonna change again. Who's up next? Bring in Stampy. Bring in oh, I hit the wrong one. Right. I wanted to bring in Stampy, not Lizzie. Jesse, listen. There's been a lot of talk thrown around today. I don't know what people have told you. I don't know what you believe. But I'll just admit it. I want that enchanted flint and steel as much as anyone. Probably more than any of them. I've been searching for it for years. Do you know how much it stung to have Dan, Dan, swoop in and take it from under my nose? So aggravating. Hang on, I thought you said you found it. Well, I as good as found it. I did the research, I did the studying, I was all prepared to go in there and finally get it when that little goggle-wearing goon swept in and stole it first. Listen, I just want to get out of here and get on with my day. What do you have to hear to be convinced that the white pumpkin isn't me? Know what this is? Tipped arrow. Kind of shoddy work, though. Definitely not one of mine, if that's what you're wondering. Some noob made that thing. Stampy asked me once about how to make those. Could be one of his. She's gonna Plus, blame Stampy the whole Stacey way. I how to make those a while back. I'm just gonna be straight. Who do you think stole the flint and steel? Well, it wasn't me, if you're curious. If I had an enchanted flint and steel, I'd be off exploring some other world with it. I wouldn't put it past Stampy, though. He'd love the chance to explore other worlds. You like using redstone? Ever make traps with the stuff? I'm fine, I guess. I can make lights and doors and stuff. You want to do advanced stuff? You gotta talk to Stampy. Watch, he was the Stampy's gonna champion. blame Dan. So heard. Thanks for your Just time. Just gonna go in a circle. That's all for now. 
Want me to send in Stampy? Yeah, send him in. Jesse, I'm telling you, this is just crazy. Absolutely crazy. Total misunderstanding. Take a seat, buddy. I don't even want that flint and steel thingy. Not um, as much as the others at any rate. Did I hear someone saying that it has something to do with portals? I don't have any interest in portals. No, sir. Not for old Mr. Stampy Cat, thank you. It's me, Stampy. Everyone's friend. I gotta say, Stampy, you seem nervous. Everything okay? You comfortable? Um, what? No, I'm not nervous. No, totally comfortable. I could fall asleep right here, right now. I'm that comfortable, honestly. Please, just tell me what you want to know. Know anything about this? Oh, wow. What is that? Some sort of magic arrow? No, I've never seen anything like it before. Honest. You know who would love to see something like that, though? Lizzie. She's wild about potions and brewing and all of that. She's way better with that stuff than I am. Maybe he's just going to blame potions, Lizzie. you say? Very good. Could probably even teach a class. <laughs> okay, enough dancing around. Who do you think took the flint and steel? I don't think it was ever actually stolen. Oh? Yeah, so Dan got it ahead of Lizzie, right? And she was pretty angry about it. I think he made up that story about it being stolen so she'd think he didn't have it anymore. Classic Dan move. What do you know about Redstone? What's your skill level with the stuff? Well, well, you know, about average. Average level moderate. I, I don't know how these things are graded these days. That's funny, because I heard you know all about Redstone. What? What uh, What are you talking about? Everyone says you're the best at Redstone. Something about being tri-block champion. Okay, 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 fine. You caught oh, me. Oh, I caught him I in a lie. I do know Redstone. I'm technically even an expert. But I would never kill anyone, I swear! You have to believe me, honest. You're excused, Stampy. Thank you for your time. Oh, thank goodness. This room's making me very nervous. Oh, come on. This is nuts. You had a button, too. Fair's fair. It's your buddy's turn next. Hey, Jesse. Ah, my final suspect. Here to point more fingers and blame more people, I'm sure. I didn't push the button, you know. I figured. Thanks, though. How's it been going in here? It is just non-stop whispering and rumors out there. Me, Petra, and Ivor pretty much been sticking to ourselves. I think I have my suspect. Really? You actually think you know the White Pumpkin's real identity? Yeah, I'm gonna tell everyone at once. Come on, suspect. It's time to return to the others. So? Have you decided? Yes. Who do you think the White Pumpkin really is? Now, hang on. Hang on, everyone. First of all, I want to thank everyone for answering my questions. There's still not 100% proof of anyone, but... But... Yes. Where are your suspicions leading, Jesse? Jesse was definitely questioning Stampy the longest. What? No! Dan was in there way longer. Hey, not cool. Guys, guys, come on. I actually don't think there's evidence to accuse anyone yet. What? Yeah, that seems surprising. I'm sorry, but I don't want to accuse anyone unless I'm 100% sure. And I'm not. Wow. Way to take a bold stance, Jesse. Well, I, for one, am not comfortable being surrounded by possible killers. So if you'll excuse me, I'm going to barricade myself in the library for my own safety. Fine. Suit yourself. Yeah, I'm more in the safety and numbers camp myself. <laughs> well... That was certainly some excitement. Yeah, no kidding. If the White Pumpkin is still roaming around, though, he might be trying to set up more traps. We need to figure out how these things work. Like, we know that the Sparkles trap was triggered by those buttons under the table, but what about the trap that turned Torque Dog into a pincushion? If we figure out how these things work, we might be able to find more proof about who the White Pumpkin is, how they're operating. But however the White Pumpkin did it, he must have done it from the kitchen. Yes. Seems like it might be worth our while to poke around the kitchen. You guys go on ahead. 
I'm gonna stay here, keep an eye on these other people. I don't want them trying anything when we're not looking. Thanks, Lucas. Back in the kitchen. So, what are we looking for exactly? Buttons like back in the dining room? Conspicuous white pumpkins lying around? We just need more evidence. Anything that can draw a link to one of these people. Got it. I'm on the lookout. Mm. I'm not seeing anything, but you know what? For now, I think I'm just going to call it here for this episode because we are getting kind of long, long, long ways in here. It's already at 45 minutes. I can't talk. But yeah, anyways, if you guys have found yourself at any point today enjoying this episode, please do remember to leave a like and subscribe. Also remember to ring that notification bell so that way you guys can be notified upon me posting any new videos. And yeah, this has been Gunshine Mori, signing out. Peace. Yeah.